Good morning, good morning. So glad to see you. Today is Sunday, September the 11th. And what we're going to do this morning at St. Simon's uh, Missionary Baptist School, Missionary Baptist Church Sunday School, is we got a fantastic lesson for you. Today, you're going to learn history, and you're going to learn the meaning of the word Passover. But most of all, you're going to learn how important it is to be obedient. Amen? So, for those of you who have your hymnals, please go with me to hymn number 162. Very familiar. Pass me not. Please say amen when you have it. Amen. amen. We ready? <laughs> Pass me not, O gentle Savior. say unto the good man of the house, the master said unto thee, where is the guest chambers? Where I shall eat the Passover with my disciple. And he shall show you a large upper room furnished. There make ready. And they went and found as he had said unto them, and they made ready the Passover. And when the hour was come, he sat down and the twelve apostles with him. And he said unto them, with desire, I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. 
For I will say unto you, I will not eat any more, eat thereof, until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. I have just read you the book of St. Luke, <coughs> chapter 22, verse 7 through 16. May the Lord continue to have a blessing to the hearing and the doing of his word for the good edification of our soul. We'll be led in prayer this morning by our speaker, Sister Banks. Wow. Good morning. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Allow me to teach Sunday school, Lord. When it was asked me, I said, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you for allowing me to be obedient. Lord, it's my first time teaching Sunday school. I'm nervous, but Lord, just speak to me. Speak to the people. In the name of Jesus, Lord, just give me the strength, Lord. Just give me through this Sunday school and throughout this lesson, Lord. What I don't know, Lord, you just remove it and enter it into me, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, teach me the way you want me to talk, Lord. Forgive me anything yes. I have sin or done wrong, Lord. Lord, thank you for another year, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Bless me for another year to be 45 days, Lord. Yes, thank Lord. you, Lord, to walk in your sanctuary, Father, on this day, Lord. Thank you, Lord, yes. for anything that come against me, Father. Lord, touch the ones on their way, Lord. Yes. Touch the ones that come be in no way, Father. Touch the ones that have family in the hospital and the nursing homes, Father. Yes. Lord, touch the kids, Father, Lord, wherever they at, Father, Lord Jesus. Lord, I say thank you, Lord. Continue to bless St. Simon, Lord, like yes, we've Lord. never been blessed before, Lord. Bless, bless the pastor of this house, Lord, and, this, and the yes. first lady, Lord. Touch every deacon, every deaconess in the household, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, touch everyone in the sanctuary from household to household, Father, Lord. Yes. Lord, you know what we need, Lord. You only know you are God that sit around and look low, Lord. Yes, Lord, continue Lord. to walk with me, talk with me, and speak to me, Lord. Lord, let me just be calm, Lord, to get through this, Lord. Get a, yes, take a fearness from me, the scariness from me, Lord, and the nervousness, Lord. I need you to anoint me, Master, from the crown of my head and soul of my feet, Lord. Yes, Lord. It's got me to something I want to stand, Lord. You'll make a way for me to... Speak through it in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Today's lesson is entitled, Obedience to Remember. You'll find that in the book of Exodus, chapter 12, verses 1 through 14. Our related scriptures, which will help you understand the lesson even better, is Joshua, chapter 5, verse 8 through 12. 2 Kings, chapter 23, verse 1 through 3 along with verses 21 through 23, the book of Ezra, chapter 6, verses 19 through 22, and the book we just read this morning, Luke, chapter 22, verse 7 through 16. The time was 1445 B.C. B.C. stands for before Christ. The place was Egypt. Our golden text is, This day shall be unto you for a for memorial, and ye shall keep it a feast to the Lord throughout your generation. Ye shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. You will find that in the book of Exodus, chapter 12, verses 14. Uh, the lesson outlined, the importance of the Lamb. We'll be dealing with those scriptures, Exodus 12, verse 1 through 7. The importance of the blood will be in Exodus 12, verses 8 through 14. And as we customarily do, give you just a little bit of insight. Passover pointed to the ultimate sacrifice of Christ as the Lamb of God. Slain before the foundation of the world, but crucified at the proper time on the cross. I want you to put a pin in that. Today's aim, we want to see clearly the hand of God at work in delivering Israel from Egypt. We want to understand that God did this in a unique manner for both Israel and our instructions. And we want to live daily under the sovereignty of a loving, miracle-working God. Now, this young lady, Miss Janetta Banks, she's a hard-working young lady. She might be a little nervous, but God is just going to have his way. And she is very obedient to the Holy Spirit. So what I ask of you today is please pray with her. And most of all, if you have any questions, uh, you can direct them to the deacons because we're all here as a family and we want her to get through the lesson and we want her to be comfortable. So, to one of the hardest young prayers that we have in the church, I present to some and introduce to others, Miss Janetta Banks. Please welcome her with a hearty amen. 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 Good 
morning. Yes, I am nervous. <laughs> You're going to be fine. Okay. The scripture is obedient to remember. The lesson is obedient to remember. The lesson in Texas, Exodus 12, 1, 1 14. The introduction believe, believers are often referred to as sheep, which is not an especially contrary thing. Mm -hmm. Sheep are not among the most brilliant of animals. They tend to be group or ordained and followers rather than leaders. Amen. They tend to be quick to panic and flee to the presence of stress, causing shepherds some frantic moments. When, Jesus, when John the Baptist saw Jesus coming toward him, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. John 1 and 29. That description seems the opposite of, of another of Christ, Titus. The Lion of the tribe of Judah. Jesus perfectly represents these apostles, meekness and submissions among the power and authority. This, week, this, this week's text will give us the background for Jesus being the Lamb prior to Exodus 12. Nine plagues have occurred, and the tenth had been announced. The plague had become increasingly intense, and yet Egypt had refused to release God's people to allow them to worship in the wilderness. When God told Moses about the final pledge, he assured him that Pharaoh would soon relent and drive Israel out of the country. Amen. All right, our scripture lesson text is Exodus 12, 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of the months. It shall the first month of the year to you. Speak ye, in, speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month they shall take to them Every man a lamb according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for a house. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto the house take according to the number of the souls. Every man according to his eating shall make your account for the lamb. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. Ye shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats. And ye shall keep it up until the fourteenth day of the same month. And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in an evening. And then the seven through fourteen. And they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts. And on the upper door post of the house wherein they shall eat. And they shall eat the flesh of that night. Roast with fire and a leavened bread. And without bitter herbs they shall eat it. Eat not of it raw, nor sudden at of all water, but roast with fire its head with legs, and the presence of thereof. And ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning, and that which remaineth of it until the morning ye shall burn with fire. And thus shall ye eat it with your lines grinded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand. And ye shall eat in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt. I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are in. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. When I smite the light, land of Egypt, and this day shall be unto you in a memorial, and ye shall keep his feast to the Lord. Throughout your generations, ye shall keep his feast by ordinance forever. Amen. So that's the scripture that we're looking at from Exodus. So the scripture, we'll be talking about the Passover. The lesson text is the related scripture that Deacon... King said with Joshua 5, 8, and 12, and 2 Kings 23, 1 and 3. In the same scripture, 21 and 3. So we're talking about the Passover. So what you think when we do like the Passover? Like what you like, what, like I know um, in the beginning, like in the holiday, I was like Moses 
spoke to his, and his Lord spoke to Moses, and I found it was brothers. And in this month shall the beginning of the month, it shall be the first month of the year. So then the congregation of Israel said to the tenth day of Israel, the tenth day of the month. So, and like, of the beginning of the year of us, of the holiday beginning of the year of January through December. Uh -huh. And their month was Abel, Abed. Yeah. What yeah. is it? Yeah. Which was the seventh month of the civil year for Israel, but not to become the first month of the year religious calendar. That was their first year of the religious calendar Maybe. of Abel. Right. And so after that, they, the name was changed to Nia. That's it. You find that in two and one. And yeah, I'm nervous. <laughs> so God sent Aaron into the wilderness to meet his brother. So his brother, Moses and Aaron are brothers. Mm -hmm. So they both went into the wilderness and so they could work as a team in approaching Pharaoh and the children of Israel. You can find that in 4, 27, 29 of Exodus. Teacher, got a point. You good. I just got a point. Um, for those of you who didn't know, Moses was not good at speaking. Mm -hmm. So what God did was God used his brother to speak for him. He used his brother to speak through him. Or he used mm -hmm. his brother to help him speak. So go ahead, teacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I did kind of get ahead of myself. So the purpose of the Lamb is Exodus 12, 1. And the Lamb spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of the month. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak ye to all your congregations of Israel, saying to the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their father, a lamb for an house. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let, let him and the neighbors next into his house, and take it according to the number of the souls. Every man according to his eating shall make your account for the lamb. Your lamb should be without blemish, a male of the first year. Ye shall take it out from the sheep or from the gold, goats, and ye shall keep it from until the fourteenth day of the same month. And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in Eden. And they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts, and the upper door posts of the houses wherein there shall be. Okay, what they're saying, like, with the, the household, they want you to share. If you have a small household, they if you have a small household and it's too little for the lamb, you can go to your neighbor and share with them. And like we have leftovers, you're gonna share leftovers. Some people don't eat leftovers. I eat leftovers. I don't know nobody else. <laughs> 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 so <laughs> so so if so every man, so then every man in the house, I guess they want to chew to kill it. We know we're not gonna kill every male in the house, but we love our male guys. So we're not going to go kill them. And so, and then in the portions of the blood, and they shall eat the flesh of that night, roast with fire and unleavened bread. And with bitter herb they shall eat it. Eat not of it raw, nor sudden at all water. But roast with the fire, what roast with fire, his head with his legs, and with the purchase thereof. And ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning, and that which remaineth of um, of it until the morning, ye shall burn with fire. And thou shalt ye eat it with your lungs grinding, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand. And ye shall eat in the haster and the, the Lord's Passover. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, and will smite of the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both the men and beasts and against all the gods of Egypt. I will execute judgment, I am the Lord. And and the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are, and where I see the blood. I will pass over you, and the pledge shall not be upon you to destroy you, and I will smite the land of Egypt. And this day shall be unto you for a memorial, and ye shall keep a feast of the Lord throughout your generation. Ye shall keep his feast of ordinance forever. So, oh. <laughs> you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Don't rush, you're take your time. Please take your time. So the Lord spoke to Moses in the speech to the entire congregation about that's going to be found in verses 21, 28 of Exodus. 
and it made clear that they did this through the elders. So the potential sense of realizing that the wood worked best is that it would be impossible for these two are communicating with everybody all at once. And the first part of the instruction was that each family had to choose and set aside a lamb on the 10th day of the month. That was the Passover lamb, the most important object that would be used in the approaching Passover. So the lamb was going to be eaten in the family's group. Families had always been and continue to be one of the most important human units of God's eyes. Amen. God works in many mankind today through families, governments, and the church. It's not an accident that societies deliberate, deliberate, thank you for the correction, with these three areas of life are destroyed. It is clear to be in the plan of the evil one to destroy mankind by destroying these three faiths of our existence. Amen. The Passover is going to be very much a family activity. Yes. Since the, the lamb was going to be eating on one particular right night and there would be no opportunity for leftovers. So there was a problem with families to consume a lamb by themselves shall in the allotted amount of time. So in these cases, they were combined with families, with other families, and share lambs. The phrase, every man according to his eating shall make your account for the lamb. Exodus 12, 4. Means that the size of the gathering for the Passover meal would be in the line of the number who could normally consume one lamb. It is possible, therefore, that more than two families could share lambs to eat together. So why is that? Why you couldn't share two lambs? Well, they wanted to make sure that God was giving instructions for everybody to be able to eat. And if you have a family, of example, two people, and there's another family next door to you that might only have one person, and a family next to them that only has two, it would, God wanted to bring you together so y'all could just eat the one lamb. And God gave explicit instructions. That's one right. lamb per household. household. Period. Exactly. <laughs> That's what he said. He <laughs> said that. No. And then when we say lamb, that was a lamb or a goat. A lamb yes. or a goat, yes. yes. It could have been either or. Yes. But, but the thing that I found interesting is he gave specific instruction on how that animal is to be. It has to be a yearly, a one year old. Can't be older than one year old. And it had to have no blemishes. It had to have no defects. It had to be a perfect example. Just like he was. Just as Christ was. Just like he was when he died on the cross. That's right. He was found without any spot or blemish. He never committed any sin. So that made him spotless right there. Mm -hmm. And he is always referred as. Well, John the Baptist referred him as the Lamb of God. So, establishing the memorial of Exodus 12 and 14, the initial Passover feast was to become an annual feast observed by the children of Israel from then on it was to be a memorial that is an annual member of their deliverance from the bondage of Egypt. <clears throat> In the history of Israel, the Exodus still stands as of one of the greatest events if ever, if this has been estimated, estimated that this many as 2.5 million people were involved at this deliverance and the trek through the wilderness, nothing like this has happened to any other nation. Amen. So, so the question is, which month was the first of the Israel religious calendar? April. It was April after it was changed from Abib to Nisan when the Babylonians came, uh, then it, they calculated out to be eight, the month of April. So the might mention in Exodus 12 2 is Abed 13, 4, 23, and 15, which was the seventh month of the silver year for Israel, but it was now to become the first month of the year religious calendar. That's when the month of Israel religious calendar had begun. So what act was the what act was to take place in preparation for Israel deliverance. Anybody? Yeah, I'm answering the questions. I'm getting nervous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to the questions. Okay. 
Okay. Ask that question again. Oh, go ahead. The ice, the defense, you know, is it okay with you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, this, uh, this land was that like a type of Christ like? Yes. Yes, it's a Christ like it land. For, it, it was foreshadowing Christ. Yes, yeah, foreshadowing Christ. Uh, coming of Christ. Mm -hmm. yeah. Basically, I don't want to get, I'm looking at Mother Demons and she ain't too happy with me right now. <laughs> 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 the word Passover means exactly that. <laughs> Passover. Because as she's going to get into the lesson, the death angel passed over. So I'll just leave it at that. Okay. It's, it's very, very important in the Jewish religion. So, we'll... Well, I guess to answer your question for what happened before they were uh, uh, let go, the Passover, they had to have the Passover. Well, it spoke about the ten plagues, so that's... The tenth plague and the this Passover. Was the tenth plague. So the first part of destruction was that each family had head was choose and set aside a lamb on the tenth day of the month. This was the Passover lamb, the most important object that would be used to the approaching Passover. And you said what did you, you said the pledge, what? Oh, so, well after the Passover then the plague came. Okay. And that's when Pharaoh decided to get out of here. No more to you. And they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two Post. side posts and on the upper door posts of the houses, wherein they shall eat it. And they shall eat the flesh of that night, roast with fire, and a leaf of bread, and with bitter herbs that shall eat it. Eat not it raw, no sudden at all the water, but roast with fire, his head, his legs, and his presence of their So they're saying they didn't want to, they couldn't eat it raw because it make them sick. So they had to roast it in fire for it to be cooked for them to eat it. Correct. Yeah, Correct. That's taken to also. The Bible declares that there's life in the blood. And he told us we are not to consume blood. And so he had them to cook it fully. Right. And if you look at uh, you know, majority of black history, uh, I've kind of moved away from well done, okay, but that's normally the way uh Black people used to like their meat well done. I don't want to see no red in it at all. And some of that had a religious connotation to it. Some of it, people understood what the scripture said about that. But for the most part, we were not supposed to be consuming blood. And so the Lord said, hey, roast that thing. And that ye shall let nothing of the remain until the morning, and that which remaineth of it until the morning, ye shall burn with fire. We're not saying burn with fire because they didn't want, like Charles, just Deacon Charles, remember said, if they want you to roast so it won't be no blemish, no red, nothing that's going to hurt them or anything to either kill them. So they had roasted with fire and to grind, like grind it up so they, so the blood and all this stuff would be out. So, yeah. And they shall eat the flesh of the night. Oh, that's my question. And they shall eat the flesh in the night, roast with fire. And I'm sorry. And ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning, and which raiment of until the morning ye shall burn with fire. So basically, they want the, the lamb or the goat to be. They had to eat it all before the night. They couldn't eat it the next day because of the sodden, the. <laughs> well, the Lord said, don't have nothing that nothing remains. remains. That's yes. what God said, don't right. leave nothing, nothing right. behind. Don't leave nothing behind. If anything's behind. left over, burn it. Right. Right. Burn it. Yeah, they can have out. nothing wrong, no, yeah. nothing left behind, anything like that. Yes. Yeah, they would eat yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. One, yes. thing, one thing I want to bring out about the particular meal, uh, for those of you who bake, and if you bake bread, you have to put yeast in it, and you have to wait till it rises, correct? <laughs> <coughs> okay, well, the reason why God was so specific about the unleavened bread was they didn't have time. Right. They, they had to do everything hastily. Yeah. Hastily. Amen. And, and, and another thing, too, that, that meal wasn't a mm -hmm. let's sit down and conversate <laughs> and have a good, joyous time together. You know, that meal was to, it said, the word said it had to be eaten hastily. Like in a rush. In a rush. They had a rush to eat it. Yeah. Yeah. They, they know they couldn't keep it 
out and they had to eat it all. Yep, and you know that that kind of reminds me that was that 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 to me expresses the a good example of Hebrews one and one, the definition of faith. All right? The substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. They had to eat fully dressed, fully clothed, with yep. their staff in their hands, like they were ready to go right then and there. Yep. At a moment's notice. Yep. They had to be ready to go. So they were already putting forth the belief. Mm -hmm. Amen. They hadn't seen any evidence because no death angel came yet. They had no idea what was coming. All right. So they put forth that effort and showed the faith up front. Amen. So you mean to tell me, class, they couldn't sit down like y'all do when y'all go um, go and corral and conversate <laughs> and laugh and joke? No conversation. So it, this this was one of those. <laughs> as uh, as ex ex military man with no cap, we used to call it duck soup, mother. <laughs> you know what duck soup was, mother? <laughs> <laughs> duck soup means you duck in and you duck out. <laughs> you ain't get a chance to enjoy the taste of it. Even standing in the line as you go into the trash can. <laughs> Remember, the instructions for this meal was given to a team, and he explained why this didn't happen. He explained why this need to happen. So all they did was follow the instructions. That's why the, next le the lesson is obedience. They followed the instructions. Mm -hmm. And it was to be nothing left over. And they were supposed to be dressed and ready to go. Mm -hmm. After the scene came through, if the blood wasn't on the, the post of the house, then the death angel went in. If the blood was there, the death angel passed back. Mm -hmm. And when he had finished through the city, then you're supposed to be ready to hit the road. That's it. That's why he told him to sleep ready to roll. Ready to roll. Mm -hmm. Amen. And have your staff in your hand, because that means we're fixing the trap. Amen. So all they was doing was following the instructions. Amen. Because they was tired. Mm -hmm. Amen. They were slaves. They yep. had been. And so there was a promise to them. Yep. So all in order for them to come up out of Egypt, mm -hmm. they had to follow the instructions. Follow the instructions. Mm -hmm. In Amen. order for us to have a relationship with God, we got to follow His instructions. All right. Amen. 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 We can't make up our own rules, and we're good Amen. at that too, by the way. We have to follow the instructions that has been laid out. So all they did was follow the instructions. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's why I said there is to be no leftover meat. Because when you leave, whatsoever you leave back there, you're through dealing. Right. Amen. So you couldn't be prepared to think, well, I'm eating a little bit of this. No, no, no. You follow the instruction follow to the, the teeth. That's why you say, share with your next door neighbor. If the lamb or goat, whatever you had, was too large for the people that was in your household, if it was three or four people in the next household, then you shared with them. Because all of the meat had to be eaten up. Okay, I'm still cut your time. <laughs> you know, this, this reminds me that Jesus' return, we need to be ready to go. Amen. Like Pharaoh said, let the people go. Amen. Yep. You know, also, too, this is one of them reap what you sow. Because remember, they ordered the firstborn of all the Israelites to be murdered. Right. That's how Moses ended up. <laughs> In the, you know, being raised right. by the Egyptians because right. his mother put him on the on the river, mm -hmm. and they and it's, and uh, the Pharaoh's sister found it. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's a reek what you sow. They ate the whole lamb. Yes, sir. the tip. the tip. It got my attention, you know, uh, when God is in the plan, you know. Can't nothing be happen. So allocate eggs to the them up, and you know anything to the ate that baby up. Amen. But God was in the plan, and when God is in the plan, can't nothing happen. You know, unless God allowed it to happen. Amen. God did not allow it to happen. That's that scripture. God be with us. Who can, be, who against can be against us? All right. <laughs> You're doing a good job, man. Amen. Amen. Yes, good job. <laughs> mm-hmm. And they shall ye eat it with your loins grinded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand. And ye shall eat it in haste. It's the Lord's Passover. Um, 
I'm talking to me. I'm talking to my head, baby. I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> For I would, I would pass through the land of Egypt at night and would smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt. I would execute judgment. I am the Lord. You know, but God was just telling him oh, what he was going to do. Oh, shit. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, he was saying if you mark your doorpost, the two sides and the top, then that lets him know that you are, you are, you know, you, you're, you're, protected. You're, you're protected by by that blood. It's the same way we're protected right. by the blood right. of Jesus right. Christ. Right. For our spiritual, right. our spiritual. Don't 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 think I'm protected by the blood of Jesus. I ain't gonna catch COVID. I'm gonna tell you that right now. That's a lie. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. That ain't true. Right. 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 That that blood of Jesus <laughs> protects you spiritually. spiritually. Right. right now, those people in the Egyptian day and during that time, they were protected spiritually and physically because they were. Let go, let go out of bondage. Let go out of bondage. Mm -hmm. right? But today that blood protects us spiritually. Mm -hmm. All right, Amen. So we have a place to go. But I mean we got to be careful with that. Nowhere in the Bible does it says that Jesus' blood is protecting you from anything, anything else. else. Yeah. It protects you spiritually. Yeah, I like I uh with that like you said, follow God's instruction. What there are uh, orders to mark Certain dope poses, uh, they could have marked it. Oh, uh, many dope poses, but there was well, their uh, instruction just to uh, mo uh, put the blood on certain. It was for the believers. Yeah, oh. Oh. you had to believe. You had to believe it. So they, yeah. had, they, they were believers, the one that uh, that marked the door post. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody that did not believe what God said okay. did not do did what not He do. said, okay. yeah. so. and they end up suffering for it. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then you got to remember, they estimate it's about 2.2 million people. Right. That left Egypt? Yep. That's an ungodly yeah, number. That's, that's a lot of people. Yeah. 600,000 million. And you know, it's like run a little rapid, you know. You know, one thing I like about this lesson. Um, yeah. Verse number 11, where he's talking about how you should be, how you to be dressed, you know, when you eat the meal, so you can leave. When we've got God's work, we always need to be ready. A lot of times we can get slow fold, slow, but when it comes to God's work, when you say move, we need to move. Amen. Y'all, I'm at one more thing. I'm going to be quiet. Oh, are you good? Yeah. Hey, look, you put me. I'm going to try to lose nervous. <laughs> we also need to pay attention to how God specifically specified what's to be offered up to Him. Mm -hmm. Right. That he gave specific instruction on what that lamb or that goat has to be. Now, you take that and fast forward to the day. Do we take that same time mm. to consider what we offer to God? Mm. Mm. So what you're saying is we need to give God our best. Amen. Amen. Because he gave, he gave us, us his, his he gave best. His, yeah. exactly. But even though we're give, we supposed to give God our best, we supposed our body supposed to be temple. And our body should be kept holy. Not sometime, but all the time. Amen. 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 Because the whole purpose of that lamb, that lamb was perfect that they sacrificed. And just like when Jesus was sacrificed, Jesus had no sin. Right. No sin. He was sin. <laughs> Amen. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye were passed over. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. And this day shall be unto you a memorial, and ye shall keep it feast to the Lord throughout your generation. Ye shall keep it feast by orders forever. Israel saying to the tenth day of this month they shall take to them every month a lamb according to the house of their fathers a lamb for a house and the household be too little for the lamb and let him and his neighbors next unto his house take according to the number of the souls every man according to his eating shall make your account for the lamb 
Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male for the first year. Ye shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats. And ye shall keep it up until the fourteenth day of the same month, and the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in, in the evening. And they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts, on the upper door posts of the houses wherein they shall eat it. So, I need help with like one. Do they say take it up from. So, why they say they should kill it in the evening? So, the blood. So, when you <coughs> love over somebody? Kill the lamb in the evening? Mm -hmm. That's basically his instruction. That's just his instruction. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't kill it that evening because the death angel was coming at midnight. That night. So if they weren't killed in the evening, then what was going to happen? They, dis yeah. they, dis they disobeyed, disobeyed God. God. They did. I'm just saying they're going to disobey God, right? They're going to yeah. disobey God. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I'm making sure. They're going to disobey God. <laughs> okay. Well, see, one thing about putting the blood of the lamb on the post, if you're inside that house, you're being covered by the Lamb's blood. Today, we are covered underneath the blood of the Lamb, the ultimate blood, the ultimate Lamb, Jesus Christ. Um, one of the songs that the sanctuary choir used to sing all the time was uh, The Power of the Blood. How, how did it go, Mother Demons? The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Power. Yeah. Never lose his power. Never lose his power. Okay. <coughs> so, and that that goes to show you, when this happened, all the way up to now and past us, he'll never lose his power. Mm -hmm. Never. Mm -hmm. right. And that's a promise. So now I want to the questions. You got a oh. oh, go ahead. Um, I was reading to know that. Um, it was customary for them to, they had certain times of, um, uh, certain times when they did their sac make their sacrifices yes, unto God. I think it was like three and six. It was in always in the evening. So it could have correlated to that time. All right, now I'm going to the questions. Any question? You, question? you know, just like today, like the, uh, the priests and, and uh, the fathers and all of those gods, you know, and people really honor worship those, you know, they think they're some type of god, but, and so they say they're nothing but complete, they powerless. And so people, you know, uh, put their trust in those uh, fathers and priests and, you know, and they're powerless without Christ, you know. So to do nothing. So why would I put my trust in a man powerless? You know, God is the only high priest. He is our high priest. Mm -hmm. And without him we can do nothing. nothing. And they can't either. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the great you know what Sister said. Minister well, one thing, man will tell you what you want to hear, <laughs> not what you need. God don't play that. God going to tell you where it is, and that's it. But man, he trying to get what's in your back pocket most of the time. He's going to say something sweet that's coming to your ears, and you follow him right on. <laughs> so I'm going to go to the questions. Number one, which one was the which was the first of the Israel religious calendar? I think you can already answer that earlier. <coughs> Question number two, which what act was to take place in first impression of Israel deliverance? The first part of the instruction was that each family had head was chosen would choose and set aside a lamb on the tenth day of the month. This was the Passover lamb, the most important object that would be used in the approaching Passover. Amen. And question number three, they say, what were the requirements for the chosen Passover lambs? The chosen Passover was the animals that had to become a male yearning and it had to be without blemish. This meant it had to be a perfect specimen without physical flaws of any kind and certainly not diseased. <clears throat> um, question number four, it say, what was to be done with some of the blood of the Passover lambs? 
This was a picture in the slaying of the Passover lamb and the application of the blood to the doorposts and the lentils of the homes everywhere a lamb was being eaten. This blood was to have been applied. <clears throat> Number five. They say what instructions were given for the meal the people were to eat on the night they killed the lambs. So the, the answer is they were not they were not to eat it raw or boil it in water. It was to be roasted in fire in its eternity. Number six. It say how was the Israelites to be prepared for leaving quickly? And I got that. It said the, answer, the assurance of their quick departure was portrayed in the fact that they were to be dressed and ready for the rapid movement. They were to have their lungs grinded with flowing robes pulled up under the, the belts at their waist. They were to eat with sandals on their feet, ready to leave without delay. Number seven, say, what was the event that was going to occur in Egypt? Egypt and that would cause the need for quick response. This was a time prior to killing of all of the firstborn in the land, both people and animals, when they happened at midnight. Moses and Aaron were going to be called upon by Pharaoh to get out of Egypt as quickly as possible. And you can find it in Exodus 12, 31 and 34. What was the reason for the placing of blood on the homes? The redeeming factor for the Israelites would be the blood they had splashed on their doorposts and and lentils. God said this blood would be a token for them, meaning a signal or a sign of evidence that they were to be spared from the destruction. When God saw the blood, he would pass over those homes. How did all this preparation for departure foreshadow Jesus? That's number nine. It was because of the blood, because of this blood, that the children of Israel would be saved. It's clear, it's clear that the putting to death of the lambs pointed ahead to Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Talking about the part, the Passover. <clears throat> when John answered the presence of the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, he was referring to the fulfillment, the antitype of the Old Testament Passover lambs. And then question number 10 said, how was Israel supposed to be remembered the event from them on? This initial Passover feast was to become an annual feast observed by the children of Israel from then on. It was to be a memorial that is an, an annual Reminder of their deliverance from the bondage of Egypt. <clears throat> you know, I would room. like to ask the deacon a question. Okay, like it said, this shall be unto you a memorial day. And uh, it said, throughout your generation, was they talking about uh, Pacific the, uh, Israelites that was. Uh, <coughs> But it, it, it's not for us, right? It was like that, at that time that they to remember that and they should teach their children, children. Right. So, we have Christ Jesus. And right. by the remission, by the shedding of his blood, right. we have the remission of our sins. We were not under the law like they were. Right. And so like the Lord is saying to them, celebrate this forever, right? Uh -huh. As a remembrance and other lessons in Sunday school. The Lord is always telling them to remember what He did for them. Yes. To like the all, and all that they went through. Everything. Yeah, yeah. And so, likewise, for us, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit <coughs> says, the Holy Spirit is doing to remember whatever so that the Lord has said to us. Okay. So we're under Christ. So yeah, under we don't have to kill a lamb. Right. No. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, I mean, he said, I'm not. I'm not. You know, my work is. Finish on earth. It's done. <coughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, you do. For allowing me to teach. Yeah. First time being nervous here. Thank you, Lord, for all the questions and answers. 
Lord, thank you. I'm going to get through this Sunday school, Lord. Yes. In spite of speaking the rain down on me, Father. Thank you, Lord, for hearing me and, and me getting an understanding of obedience to remember. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for everyone that came today, Lord, and the ones that's on their way. Lord, continue to hold and watch over me and everyone else through your son, Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Amen.